Hey guys, uh, welcome to Lesson 1 with me, Johnny Chivers. I'm a full-time data engineer during the day and at night I like nothing better than making AWS videos for free on my YouTube channel to kind of spread out that knowledge. So Lesson 1, bit of theory, we're going to create an AWS data lake. If we take a look at the diagram from the introduction lesson, you can see that our lake architecture pattern involves an S3 bucket that we're going to split into three different zones. Those three different zones represent data quality. So in terms of a bit of theory, bronze is traditionally the lowest data quality. This is the raw data as we receive it um, from our sources. And at this point, we haven't really done anything and we haven't transformed it. Silver is where the data quality improves. There's been some verification of that data. You've possibly changed it into a more usable format like park or work. And then once it's gone through silver, it usually proceeds to gold, which is the business access layer. As I touched upon in the introduction lesson, these can be three separate S3 buckets. However, for the purpose of this demo to keep costs down, and in fact in smaller data lakes, you can create just one bucket and we'll separate it into three separate areas. Once we created the bucket on the console, we're then going to register it using AWS Lake Formation. AWS Lake Formation is the latest service from AWS that helps you build the data lake. Setting up a, a lake on AWS before was a bit involved of a process. You had to create your S3 buckets, put in place all your policies, ingest your data, register that separately. I've created a few AWS leaks in my time and they can be a bit tricky. AWS leak formation looks to simplify that process and bring in better security controls that mimic that of other third party tools that have been used previously, such as Ranger. So AWS leak formation gives you fine grain control over that data. It also helps you register that data inside the Glue Data Catalog. So that's enough of me talking. Let's get onto the console. Let's create our S3 bucket for our data lake. Let's set up our zones within that S3 bucket and let's get it registered in lake formation as our data source. Okay guys, that's me signed in to the root user of my AWS account. First thing I'm going to do is create a new user. The reason for this is that your root user cannot be the administrator of the data lake. It can give permissions to a new user to be the administrator but your root account cannot be the administrator itself. So what I'm going to do is create a new user, give that full administration permissions on leak formation, and in fact, I'm going to give it full admin rights on my entire account, sign in as that user, and then we'll just use that user the whole way through the demo. So the first thing we need to do is go to IAM, and we're going to create that user. Now, I'm going to give it full administrative access. Obviously, if this is a proper production environment, we wouldn't do that, but it keeps things simple for the, the purposes of the demo. So add user, and I'm just going to call this guy leak formation um, admin hyphen user. Now, the best thing to do is copy that name out into a notepad. Um, just don't forget it. Then we're going to give him programmatic access and we're going to give him console access. We're going to use a custom password and I'm going to type in a password. I'm not going to make him reset it. Next permissions. We're just going to attach policies directly. I'm going to give him administrator and then let's just go and give him lake formation data admin as well. Next tags and we'll go to review. So there we go, no password reset, and he has admin and leak formation permissions. Perfect. Create the user. We don't need this, um, so we can just close it. Okay, next step, leak formation itself. So let's go to AWS leak formation. You might get a little message if this is the first time up here saying you need to add um, an administrator. Click that, or alternatively, go down to admins and database creators. You want to go to grant. Next thing you want to do is pick that role we've just created, which is lake formation admin user. And we want to save. And you can see then that he is now my lake administrator. Okay, now he's the administrator of the account. I'm going to just stop here. I'm going to log out and we're going to log back in as this user. And as I said, we're just going to do everything else in this entire series as this user. At the start of each lesson, I'll just remind you that I'm in as a different user. So I'll see you when I'm signed back in. Okay, guys, that's me signed back into the console. But this time I'm in as that admin user. So critical, sign in as the admin user. Let's go back into the information. Let's go back down to admins and creators. 
let's go so you can see that this user is actually there because I added them from the root account. Let's grant some permissions. Let's choose that user, which is me. Let's grant him create database and grantable permissions. He can also tell people to create a database. So essentially what I've done now is just give this user full access to everything inside Lake Formation. Different users, you can give different permissions. We'll look at that later. Okay. Next stage is we need to create an S3 bucket to act as our data lake. And then we need to register that bucket as a lake location. So to S3. I'll leave a link in the top corner right now um, to kind of information about S3 on this channel. If you're not really familiar with it, you're going to learn everything you need to know as we go here. But if you want a more in-depth dive or a beginner's lesson, click the link on the top right. So let's create the bucket. Now, your bucket name must be unique within the entirety of AWS. So I always use my name because hopefully no one else is using my name yet. And I'm going to call this one Data Lake Demo. So let's call it that. I'm setting it up in EUS1. You can set your um, bucket up anywhere you want. And I'm going to enable versioning and enable encryption. Okay, that should be everything. Let's create the bucket. Okay, if we look at the diagram for one second that I showed in the introductory video, you can see that data lakes are traditionally separated into bronze, silver, and gold. These can be three separate buckets, or if you have a smaller lake, you might want to partition a single bucket into these structures. That's what we're going to do. So, in true fashion, we need to create a folder. First folder we'll do is gold. Create the folder. Second folder we'll do is silver. Create the folder. Third folder we'll do is bronze. Oh, not upload. Apologies. Uh, actions. Create folder. Bronze. Fantastic. And you can see there that we have our three folder structure. Now, back on the lake formation. AWS lake formation. And the next thing we want to do is add that data lake location. So data lake location, register location, browse, go to the bucket, select, leave everything else as it is, leave this I am rule, and register location. And that is our location now registered. Okay, guys, that's everything for this lesson one. We've created that I am user to do everything with key for every, everything we're about to cover in this video series. We've created an S3 bucket. We created that three partition structure that we're going to use. And then we registered that as a lake location. And I should add that we gave our lake formation admin user all the permissions that it needs to carry out the tasks that we're going to perform in this lesson series. So join me in lesson two, where we're going to ingest some data, create a table, and then, and then let our role actually read that data. So that's everything for today, guys, and please join me in lesson two. As usual, I'll make all this information for free on my website, www.johnnychivers.co.uk. Thanks for watching.